Hello everyone, I'm Meg and welcome to my channel. I'm an illustrator and creative and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how you can turn a simple frame like this into a gorgeous bobbin frame. I have done quite a few of these so I've got some above me for my gallery wall and I've also created a mirror with this method so I'm so excited to show you. Let's get into it. So here's what I'm using. I'm starting with a plain frame, some sandpaper, um, some super glue. This is just clear Gorilla Glue and these little half wooden balls. Everything is linked on my Amazon storefront. Um, and then I am just sanding the frame really, really lightly. Literally just spending about a minute on each frame and it's just about creating a key so that the glue can stick to it. Once I've done this, I'm just grabbing my super glue and putting a really thin line along the edge of the frame and taking my time adding the little wooden half balls along the edge. These wooden bobbins are the 15mm version because they fit onto my specific frame but you can get smaller or larger ones depending on what effect you're going for. Um, so yeah, I'm literally just doing all of the edges of the frame. I recommend just putting a podcast or your favourite TV show on during this process as it's quite therapeutic. It might depend on the type of glue you've got, but this specific glue that I've got takes quite a while to dry, which is really good because it means that you can like move the bobbins around if they've moved a bit like this and just make sure they're all centered. So this is the bobbin frame once I've glued everything down. It looks really, really good. I can see the vision come into life, but I'm gonna leave these both for 24 hours to dry um, while I do this little mini frame. I am literally just using the same process, so sanding the edge down and then using the glue to glue down the little wooden bobbins. I wanted to try it on a smaller frame as I thought it would be a really, really quick and easy DIY, perfect for a gift. And a lot of people have these like mini six before frames lying around. So if you wanna spruce them up a little bit, this is a really good idea. Gluing the bobbins onto this smaller frame only took about five to 10 minutes, so really good, and I'm leaving that to dry overnight. It's now the next morning, and this is what my set of bobbin frames are looking like. I'm really, really excited, so let's paint them. I have just got some scrap paper out and bought some sample pots from my local DIY store, and this is what we're gonna be painting them with. You don't need to use any expensive paint for this project. These little sample pots are a few pounds from your local DIY store and I didn't even use half per frame. So they're great to use. They are just wall emulsion, um, but frames aren't something that need to be really, really hard wearing as you're probably not gonna be touching them much and we are going to gloss spray them later anyway. I'm giving each frame about two to three coats. Um, I think the first coat is all about getting inside them little cracks because where you've stuck the little bobbins and between the frame, it can be quite hard to get to. So I'm just using a rough brush to get in them little edges. And then the other few coats are just about making sure the color is fully opaque. My home is personally very colourful, so I've used some very bright colours and a different colour for each frame, but obviously you can opt for whatever goes with your home decor, so if you want to do them white or black or some plainer colours, that's totally okay. I think they will still look absolutely beautiful. Now all the frames have had free coats, this is what they look like, they've dried and they've got a very matte finish. So I want to seal them with some gloss spray. Um, you can get this spray in a matte effect if you want to keep the matte effect, but I personally really, really like the glossy effect. So I am spraying each frame twice and then just leaving them to dry again. And it just protects the paint and makes sure they have a really, really nice finish. 
Now the frames have dried, this is what they look like. They're super colorful and the gloss spray really makes those colors pop and they look so glossy and shiny. I am so happy with them. And now your last step is to just add the final artworks into your frames. And here is my finished bobbin frames. I love them so much and I've created a colourful gallery wall with them. Um, when I first started seeing these bobbin frames online, I absolutely fell in love with them. I love how much texture they add to a space, but honestly, they were just out of my budget, so I decided to DIY them. I have filled my personal ones with some of my artwork from my small business. And yeah, I hope you have fun with this DIY. I'd love to see what you make. Leave some ideas in the comments and please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.